The Katsina state's PDP gubernatorial candidate is optimistic that peaceful campaign activities in the state is a good indication. The election will be hitch-free next month. The candidate spoke to TVC News in May Adua Council area during his rally. TVC News correspondent Abdullah TV Suf reports. The full participation by youth and women is giving the campaign rallies more life and color with contestants forced to come up with well thought out manifestos to reach out to the target population. The focus of rallies has shifted from mere promises to discussing challenges confronting the nation and how to solve them. The ruling party has often blamed the PDP for the misfortune of the nation, while the PDP has refused to take the blame. Trying to bring the PDP to power by all means. We are trying to bring the PDP to power by ballot. Right? By ballot. And we are determined. We are going to do it. Nigerians today, including you and me, and I think everybody, he knows what is his mind. The Director General of the PDP Gubernatorial Campaign Council, Mustafa Inwa, and Senator presenting the Dawra Zone comment on the challenges so far and call on the electorates to vote for their party. Uh, this is the fourth local government we have gone. Uh, in addition to Funtuawa, uh, we flag all the campaign. In all these places, the turnout is marvelous. You think we are experiencing the denial of us to use public property, uh, which we are entitled to. They were only allowed, or it is only the ruling party that are allowed to use them. In Zongo, we had to restrict our into our political party office to be able to do to do uh, to do our campaigns. Since the 2015 contest between APC and other parties, the PDP has relentlessly tried to return to power, but has always fallen short. However. Its gubernatorial candidate is confident that the party will succeed this time around. God willing, and uh, what makes me always to have courage and confidence is uh, the teaming supporters that on daily basis dropping, leaving APC and other political party and joining us. It is less than two months now to the general elections when the electorates will decide the next set of leaders. Who will rule for the next four years? Abdullah Yusuf, TVC News, Katana.